Hello and welcome to another week of Pick 3 DST, where I give you three defenses I like and one defense I'm fading for week 12 of the NFL season. I'm your host, Eric Simulski, and as always, these are not my full weekly DST rankings. If you want to check those, you can click the link below or go to rotoballer.com where you can check out my article, which I'll update during the week when we get weather, injury reports, and any other information that I think can change the defense rankings. We're going to start with the defense I'm fading for this week, and it's the Denver Broncos. Consensus has them at third, and I have them down at 14th. I know you see that Sam Darnold is playing against them, and you get excited, and I do too. But you really need to check out the way Denver has been playing of late. They're the 25th ranked fantasy defense over the last six weeks, averaging just 4.2 points a game over that span. So they're a pretty solid real-life defense, but that success has not been translating over to fantasy. And part of that is they're 15th in sacks, they're 16th in pressure rate, they're 20th in tackles for a loss, and they're 25th in turnover rate. So they're a stingy defense, but they're not really getting a lot of turnovers or sacks, and that's not really leading to fantasy points. They're very run-heavy too, so they grind out these slow games. So yes, I do normally want to attack Sam Darnold, but I just don't love this matchup to, enough to put them in my top 10. My sleeper defense of the week is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Consensus has them at 13th, and I have them up at 7th. I don't have a lot of stats to back this one up, except to say the Colts gave up the third most fantasy points to opposing defenses. We've seen again with Matt Ryan under center. He's a bit of a statue. He's going to throw short passes, and they're going to rely a lot on the run. But this Pittsburgh defense is totally different with TJ Watt back, and now Minka Fitzpatrick is another week removed from his appendectomy, which will make him a little bit closer to normal. So I just think that this is a Steelers defense that's kind of hitting their stride a little bit and getting fully healthy, and it's a Colts offense that just really doesn't inspire a whole lot of confidence. So I think the Steelers are pretty surefire top 10 play for me this week. My solid defense for the week is the Philadelphia Eagles. Consensus has them down at ninth, but I have them up at fourth. And I'm a little bit surprised that people are jumping off the Eagles bandwagon after just a couple weeks ago, my Reddit stream was filled with Eagles rest of season, lock it in. Eagles rest of season, lock it in. And that's the way that this fantasy defense game changes. But I still think that the Eagles are a defense that we can play pretty comfortably this week. They're first in the NFL in turnover rate. They're fourth in the NFL in sacks. They're sixth in the NFL at, opponent, at the rate at which opponents drives end in a score, and they're 11th in the NFL in tackles for a loss. So it's still a really solid defense. Plus, Linval Joseph and Adamican Sue actually played pretty well last week. I know they weren't on the field for a ton of snaps, more than we initially thought, but when they were on the field, the Colts ran for under three yards a carry. So they're going to get on the field even more now. They have another week of practice. That's going to make it a little tougher for Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon on the ground. And the Eagles allow just 4.7 yards per pass attempt in the air. So I cannot see Aaron Rodgers picking this defense apart through the air. So I think this is still a really solid play for the Eagles against a Packers offense that's just really fine but not great. And my stud defense for the week is the Kansas City Chiefs. Consensus has them at fourth, and I have them up at third. And this is a little bit of a fine defense in a really good matchup. The Rams don't have Cooper Cup. Now it looks like they're not going to have Matthew Stafford. So I think we can take advantage of that with the Chiefs defense. That's averaged 6.3 points a game over the last month, which is 17th. So it's not great. However, the, in that span, they played the 49ers, the Titans, the Jaguars, and the Chargers. And those are teams that don't really give up a lot of fantasy points to opposing defenses. So if the Chiefs can get 6.3 points a game against them, I think 10 points a in this game or higher against a Rams team that could be playing their third string quarterback is a matchup that I really want to be attacking. If you haven't yet, please click below to like and subscribe so you can get Pick 3 DST every single week, as well as the rest of our Rotoballer content, our Start Sit videos, our Rankings videos, our DFS videos, so we can help you not only win your leagues, but win money this fantasy season.